All right, so Gemini 3 is finally here, and it's everything we thought it would be, and more. Sundar Pichai announced it as the best model in the world for multimodal understanding, and Google's most powerful, agentic, plus vibe coding model yet. He says Gemini 3 can bring any idea to life, quickly grasping context and intent so you can get what you need with less prompting. And it's rolling out today in the Gemini app, in AI mode in search, and for developers inside Google AI Studio and Vertex AI. So jumping straight into the benchmarks, again, Gemini 3 is really everything we expected it to be. It scores 37.5% on humanity's last exam, one of the hardest academic reasoning tests we have. It gets 31.1% on ARC AGI 2, which honestly probably shocked everyone. That benchmark is notoriously brutal and most of the frontier models still score in the teens. It's also crushing the more traditional benchmarks. 91.9% on GBQA Diamond, 95% on Amy 2025, and 100% when it's allowed to execute code, 81% on MMMU Pro. It's basically state of the arts across the board when it comes to multimodal understanding, reasoning, and long context tasks. Now, here's where it gets interesting though. In pure coding benchmarks, Gemini 3 Pro gets edged out slightly by Claude 4.5 Sonnet, which isn't exactly surprising since Claude has been leading in this front. But when you move to agentic benchmarks, the ones that test autonomous reasoning, multi-step action planning, and long horizon tasks, Gemini 3 absolutely dominates. On T2 Bench, SWE Bench Verified, Terminal Bench, and especially Vending Bench, the gap is massive. These tests measure real autonomous capability, not just generating code. And Gemini 3 Pro is way ahead. This is why Google is calling it their most powerful agentic model ever. But now, as you can see here, this isn't even Google's most advanced version of Gemini 3. The benchmarks we just looked at are only for Gemini 3 Pro. Google has an even stronger version though, called Gemini 3 Deep Think, but it's not being released yet. They write, Gemini 3 Deep Think mode pushes the boundaries of intelligence even further, delivering a step change in Gemini 3's reasoning and multimodal understanding capabilities to help you solve even more complex problems. And the numbers back that up. In testing, Gemini 3 Deep Think beats the Pro version on almost everything. 41% on Humanity's Last Exam, 93.8% on GBQA Diamond, and an absolutely insane 45.1% on ARC AGI 2. ARC Prize themselves actually confirm this. Most models are hovering around 0 to 5%, some are at 5 to 10%. And then only a few are higher than that at around 15 to 20 percent, like Claude 4.5 Sonnet, Grok 4, and GBT 5 Pro. But then you see Gemini 3 Pro way up at 31 percent with similar cost per task. And then all the way up in the top right corner, completely separated from the pack, is Gemini 3 Deep Think at 45 percent. That's more than double anything else on the board. It's a massive leap. And it's on a benchmark explicitly designed to test generalization and problem solving in unfamiliar environments, which is basically the closest thing we have to an AGI indicator today, hence the name. Now, Gemini 3 is also leading on the LM arena, and Sir Demis Hassabis says it's become his favorite model to actually use, not just for raw performance, but for its style, depth, and what it can do with everyday tasks. And according to Artificial Analysis, Gemini 3 Pro is now the number one model in the world. For the first time ever, Google officially has the leading language model. So according to the benchmarks and the third-party testing, Gemini 3 really does seem to be the best model out right now. But benchmarks don't always tell the full story. So let's look at what it can actually do. Google says Gemini 3 is the best vibe coding and agentic coding model they've ever built. It's extremely strong at zero-shot generation, understanding complex instructions, and generating rich, interactive web UIs. Everything from dashboards, to tools, to entire apps. Here you can see it generating a retro 3D spaceship game, with richer visualizations and improved interactivity. 
In another example, they asked it to build a playable sci-fi world with shaders. And this is what it came up with. Pretty impressive. But it's not just Google demos. There's a ton of examples just like this all over X. This user managed to create a working nuclear power plant simulation in just two shots using Gemini 3 Pro. So while no model is the best at every single task, it's pretty undeniable that Gemini 3 is overall the strongest general purpose model right now. And along with Gemini 3's launch, Google actually quietly announced something potentially even bigger. They're releasing a brand new agent first development experience called Google Anti-Gravity. As they write here, as model intelligence accelerates with Gemini 3, we have the opportunity to reimagine the entire developer experience. Today, we're releasing Google Anti-Gravity, our new agentic development platform that enables developers to operate at a higher task-oriented level. So this is where the video gets really interesting because Anti-Gravity isn't just another IDE. It changes the entire workflow it goes beyond vibe coding into what I'd honestly call vibe agenting, where you're not just generating code anymore, you're directing agents that build the entire thing for you. And sometimes they're even directing themselves. Just take a look at how they describe it. Your new focus is architecting the solution, not implementing every single step. So congratulations. You have been elevated to a manager of agents. Instead of an agent living in your tools, your tools are now instruments for many agents. The agent begins to work autonomously by creating an implementation plan and activating multiple surfaces to complete your request. Our agent is more capable, tackling complex tasks and even doing so in parallel, letting you ship more than ever before. So as you can see, anti-gravity isn't just a fancy new UI. It's a fundamental shift in how you build software. Using Gemini 3's advanced reasoning, tool use, and agentic coding capabilities, anti-gravity turns AI from a passive helper into an active partner. The agents get their own dedicated surface, and they have direct access to your editor, terminal, and even your browser. That means they can plan tasks, write the code, run it, debug it, validate the output, and fix their own mistakes all on your behalf. And anti-gravity doesn't just use Gemini 3 Pro, it comes tightly integrated with Gemini 2.5 computer use for full browser automation, Nano Banana, Google's top rated image model, and of course, Gemini 3 Pro as the brain behind all of it. This is really the first true agent-first development environment from any major AI company. And it's probably the first glimpse at how developers and even non-developers will build in the next few years. Now, finally, the next big thing Google highlights is planning, specifically long horizon reasoning, which is one of the hardest skills for any model. As we saw earlier, Gemini 3 Pro is state of the art on vending bench, which simulates running an entire vending machine business for a full year. The model has to make hundreds of decisions, manage inventory, set prices, handle customers, and stay on task without drifting. Gemini 3 Pro is the most consistent model in maintaining tool use and decision making over long time periods. And it ends up generating the highest returns compared to all other frontier models by quite a decent margin. So this is the kind of capability that actually translates into real world usefulness. And this is likely why Demis said Gemini 3 is his favorite model for everyday tasks. Because with better long horizon reasoning, it can actually get more things done, like booking local services or organizing your inbox. So to wrap this up, this is really just the beginning of the Gemini 3 era. As of today, Gemini 3 is already rolling out to everyone in the Gemini app, to Google AI Pro and Ultra subscribers inside AI mode in search, to developers in the Gemini API, AI Studio, Anti-Gravity, and the Gemini CLI, and to enterprises in Vertex AI and Gemini Enterprise. And as for Gemini 3 DeepThink, Google says they're taking a little extra time for safety evaluations before releasing it to ultra subscribers in the coming weeks. They also confirmed that more Gemini 3 models are coming soon, with even stronger reasoning, multimodality, and agentic workflows. So yeah, Google's absolutely cooking right now. 
They had a slow start at the beginning of the year, especially with the whole woke AI image generator controversy, but they've really turned it around and are undeniably in the lead right now. They're also extremely well positioned for the future. They've got their hands in literally everything, and it feels like their major focus right now is AI. So it'll be interesting to see if Gemini 3 holds its lead through the end of the year. I personally think it probably will, but let me know what you think in the comments. Will Gemini 3 still be the best model come January 1st, or will someone else dethrone them? Also, let me know what you guys think of Gemini 3 in general. I haven't gotten to use it much yet, so if any of you have already tried it, definitely let me know your thoughts below. Anyways, thanks for watching, like the video, subscribe to stay up to date, and as always, I'll be catching you guys in the next one.